Well, good morning. Trucker Todd here. Happy Wednesday to you. And it's time for another video. Yesterday I got recognized in a truck stop and a driver asked me a question. Uh, it's a question I get periodically from time to time. And I decided we would cover it in today's video. Alright folks, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. Let's discuss prepaid legal services. Alright, here we go. Hey, Trucker Todd here. And today's video is sponsored by the fine folks at Mudflap. If you're not familiar with the Mudflap app, they offer you ways to save money on fuel. And if you click the link in my description below, you'll receive $10 off the first time you use their app to fill up if you do it within the first five days. So why not give them a shot? You could save 20, 30, even 50 cents or more per gallon on diesel. And you don't have to be a truck driver to use it. If you use diesel, you can use this app. So look down in the description below for the link uh, to receive that savings for being a viewer of this channel. All right, let's jump right into the regularly scheduled video. And this is why I do this, why I'm out here, why I keep that hammer down, flying by these road signs with home on my mind, with these wheels turning round for my family and for my kids. For this life I want. is why I do Okay folks, like always, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share this video on your social media platforms. Look down below this video where it says subscribe. Click on that. Wait a few seconds. A bell will click pop a bell will pop up. Click that bell, wait a few seconds again and it will say all click all and for free, you will be notified when all my future videos come out. Also, in the description below, there's a lot of great information, including my Instagram, my Facebook, even my email is there. If you're not comfortable leaving a comment below, shoot me an email with your questions, and uh, I'll get back to you just as quick as I can. Also, you guys know that I love it here at Dart Transit. If you guys want more information, about coming to work here. My recruiter's information's down there. Call her, tell her you've been watching Trucker Todd and give her my driver number of 58180. If by chance she's out of the office, gone to lunch, leave her a voicemail, but if you gotta talk to somebody right away, make sure you've been, uh, or that you tell them you've been watching Trucker Todd and give them that driver number of 58180. That really helps me out a lot, that and especially when you guys share these videos. So if you could do those things to help me out, I would really appreciate it. All right, let's talk about prepaid legal services. Now, for those of you guys that are not truck drivers, um, this may be foreign to you, but the DOT requirements for trucks and drivers is amazing. The micromanagement that, that uh, DOT has over trucking, it's the most heavily inter, um, regulated industry there is. And the fines can be astronomical. They vary state to state, uh, but even something as simple as having an overweight fine can be hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Um, an honest mistake on your logbook can be uh, a major fine. And so, you might want you might think well i'm not a speeder i, I follow the law and uh, so i don't need a prepaid legal service but i guarantee you that you could pull onto a scale with a brand new truck and if that dot officer wanted to find a violation on you he could find one there's not a car on the road today a four-wheeler as you guys call them that could pass a dot inspection and uh, so you're, you're kind of playing Russian roulette every time you get checked or inspected. There are some things you can do to safeguard yourself and reduce your, your odds of getting a fine, but you're, uh, you're pretty much at the, at the mercy of the DOT officer. And I would say 
85 or 90 percent of them are very reasonable guys but you always get that one jerk occasionally now a lot of trucking companies including dart offer a prepaid legal service and if you've been to a petro or a large truck stop you've probably been approached by someone selling prepaid legal i've even had some relatives that have sold it in the past is it a good deal well first of all let me address it from the standpoint of my relatives that sold it basically your clientele is uh people that are anticipating because she was doing people other than truck drivers too signing up people other than truck drivers basically your clientele is people that expect to have a lot of run-ins with the law and i wouldn't want to have those type of people um as my commission structure but from a truck driver standpoint i think it really makes sense um maybe i pay i've as i said dart offers it i think it's around 17 18 dollars a month and then if you get a citation you pay a hundred dollar deductible and they represent you now a few months ago i got a speeding ticket in mississippi and i paid the hundred dollars and they are currently fighting that ticket. To this point, they've gone to court for me twice. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, you could just go out and buy your own lawyer. There's no need to do this prepaid legal service. And you're right, I could. Or I could try to uh, fight it myself in court. If I fought it myself in court, that makes two court appearances I would have had to have made so far which means finding a load there, taking a day off, and uh, so there's some costs associated with that too. Um, I could hire my own lawyer, but um, who knows what that would cost. A few years ago, my wife got a seatbelt ticket in Houston, Texas. We ended up getting that ticket dismissed, and I think I uh, paid $75 for the lawyer or something like that. It wasn't, maybe it was 150 It wasn't super expensive. But, uh, you know, there was some time associated there, uh, finding a lawyer in the area and uh, getting all that set up. Whereas this is really convenient. They take care of it wherever it's at in the country. And so there are some advantages for your $18 a month and your $100 deductible when there is a violation. Now, another thing to keep in mind is uh, tickets can ruin you in trucking. Tickets are basically your credit score in trucking. They have something called a DAC report. And DAC is a little different. DAC is kind of, uh, it's also kind of like a credit report for a truck driver. It talks about if you've ever uh, quit a company under a load, refused to drug test, things like that's on there. But they also pull your NVR for the last five years. Now I realize in a car it's three years for your insurance and things like that. But for trucking, it's five years. And uh, there's a point system called PSP. And uh, so you don't want to get a bunch of points because it also counts against the company you're working for. And companies will cut you loose in order to get their scores down. So you really want to manage that. And that's where these legal services can come in good. Also remember that warnings also appear on your record just like a ticket. And so uh, I recommend challenging those things in data queue. And it can be um, a real tedious process. It can be a long drawn out process, but it can be really important for the safety of your CDL and your ability to continue to make money. So um, overall, I do recommend those services. I'm not going to recommend a particular one to anybody I would say if there's one you're considering, get online, read reviews, and make an informed decision for what you think's best for your situation. I know the ones they sell in the truck stops, typically you put a card on file or give them your checking account information and they auto bill you once a month. And so um, if that's something you decide you don't want at a later date, you'd have to go back and cancel it to get them to stop charging you. Um, I don't worry about it too much. I just do it through DART. It's a great program. 
and so I do recommend it but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up I think I've said all I need to say on this hopefully I'll have something for you guys on Friday um, but you guys have a great midweek and we'll see you later bye bye